What if I told you that you can design WordPress websites without signing up for a hosting service, which can be, by the way, very, very expensive, or install a software on your website to set up WordPress. This can be done absolutely free by going to the link I've provided in the video description below. So one of the features that I like about ZipWP is you can spin up a website super fast. So check this out. If I come over here to create new, I can create a blank website just by clicking here, giving it a name. So I'm going to call this uh, Mac test and then just go ahead and click on create website. Now, just by doing that in a few seconds, you're going to notice that I have a brand new WordPress website. I can now click on one click login and this now logs me into my blank WordPress website. Now with this site, I can install Divi. I can install any plugins that I want. So as you can see here, this is a working WordPress website. If I come over here to plugins, I can click on add new plugin and it just works like a normal WordPress website. Now, what is cool here as well is I can do a quick preview and take a look at my website and here it is. Now, I was able to do this in under five seconds. Now, if you're a design agency and you want to try out new software or new plugins, you can do this easily by starting to experiment and, and trying out different plugins and themes. On the left here, this is where we have a list of all our sites and I really like this because sometimes it can be very difficult to find where all your sites are. So here's the list. I also have the ability to log in right away into my admin pretty much on any of these websites. Now, I don't have to memorize any uh, username and passwords. This is magic login. As soon as I click over here, I can log into my website. Now, this is really, really powerful and it's a very, very good time saver. Now, over here as well, if I want to delete this at any point, I can just come over here and delete the, uh, the site. So here, I just need to type in delete and then I have deleted my site. Now, if you're a freelancer or design agency, you can add this to a project. So so let's say you have specific projects here. You can create a brand new project and then add the sites to that particular project, making things much, much easier to organize. Now, that's again is a very, very good feature. Now, let's take a look at one of the features which was added recently, which in my opinion is very, very powerful. Now, if I click on these three little dots over here, you notice that we can create a blueprint. So that means I can build a website, add all the plugins that I want. I can add all the uh, themes, set it all up the way I want, and then create a blueprint based on that website. So let's say I want to sell my e-commerce websites. I can just come over here and say, create blueprint. I can give it a title and then I can just give it a short description. So now I can click on create. So here's the most exciting part. So let's say I want to share this link. I can just come over here, click on copy. So the person that has access to this link can always go into their browser, paste the URL, hit enter, and before you know it, they have now access to set this up in their own ZipWP account. So you can see here it's installing. It also has a description here, Mac website, e-commerce based uh, website on Astra and Spectra, which is fantastic. Now it's copying all those files over to this new installation. Now, the possibilities of just this feature are endless. If you're a freelance designer and you've put together a blueprint website or a complete website that you're selling, you can actually sell your websites and deliver them this way. Now, what your client has to do or the person that has purchased the website has to do is to create a free account here or to log into a, an existing account. So I'm just going to close out of here so you can see that over here I have uh, pretty much imported everything. I have Spectre here installed. I also have Astra installed. And if they visit the website, this is what it's going to look like. Look at that. Just like that. And this hasn't even taken a long time to create. So as freelancers, this is a gold mine. So let's say you're happy with this website and now you're ready to host it on a proper hosting company. All you have to do is to install a plugin like WP Vivid. You can back up the website and then install it on a server. All right, so it's time now to take a look at ZipWP AI capabilities. So if we come over here now, you remember we started off by building a blank WordPress website, but this time we are now going to build with AI. So if I click on a build site with AI, you're going to notice that the prompt is a bit different here. So this is where we can enter the name of our website or the title. So we're going to call this Mac Design Agency. And then over here, it's asking me, what is this website for? I'm going to go ahead and choose Agency. Click on Continue. So here, I'm going to give the AI a starting point. So I'm going to go ahead and give this some keywords. 
So here's my description. I'm going to say improve with AI. So let's see how the AI is going to improve this. Now, already I can see here that this is looking much better. Mac Design Agency is a premier web design uh, situated in London, England, specializing in creating top notch. I really like this because this would have taken me quite a bit of time for me to come up with all of this. But anyway, let's say I'm happy with this. But the good thing is you can actually go in here and also uh, edit it as much as you want. So I'm going to say continue. And now let's see what happens with the next step. Now it's asking me for my email address and phone number. So I'm just going to add it here. But but if I'm not interested in adding my email address and phone number, I can also skip this step over here. So I'm going to go ahead and give it a an email address. Okay, so that's my address. I'm going to click on continue. Now, here's what I really like about this. So at this stage, I'm just going to choose images that work as placeholders. So these images don't have to be the final images that I'm going to use on my website. So let's go ahead and choose some images. I'm going to go ahead and choose this one here. And by the way, you can upload your own images over here on this tab, which is also pretty cool. So I'm going to continue on and look for other images. So I'm going to keep scrolling down. And I think I'm going to go with this one as well. It looks pretty cool. And I'm also going to um, choose this one right here. Now, these are all coming from uh, Pexels, which is a royalty-free uh, image um, website. So you won't be uh, in trouble if you use these images. Now, I'm also going to come over here on lead generation and see how many more uh, or different types of images I can use over here. So I think I've chosen enough images. I'm going to now go to the next step by clicking here on continue. So now the AI is generating some designs for me, and this looks pretty impressive. So I can scroll through all these and choose the one that I think, you know, works for my design. And to be fair, all these look very, very interesting. So I can scroll further down here. Now there's different options. We have quite a lot of options actually. You know, I really like this one as well. You can see here, it's talking about my services and it also has the recent work and also client stories. I mean, this is ideally what I would need for a basic website. Even this here, I mean, this AI has done a fantastic job of creating all these layouts for me. At this point, to be honest, I'm really confused because I don't know which one to go with. Wow. And there's still more. Look at this. We have now a dark version over here as well. And we have different colors. Oh, my goodness. So just from the information that I've entered, we have more than 20 designs to choose from. Absolutely amazing. And you know what I've noticed? When I keep scrolling, it keeps generating more and more layouts. Look at that. Actually, you know what? I think I like this one here. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and click on it and see what happens. Wow. Now look at this. I can now go in here and change my colors. Now notice what happens when I click on this color palette. Just like that, I've now changed the color scheme of this website. I can go to the dark version as well. Look at that. And all this is just using ZipWP AI. This is phenomenal. Okay. When it comes to the fonts, I can also come over here and choose different fonts. Look at that. And all these fonts are fonts that work well together. And I really like this. So I think I'm going to stick to um, this one right here. Or maybe let me just try this. No, actually, let me go back to what I chose earlier on. Now, what's really fascinating about this is I can go through these different pages. So I also have the about, the services, the portfolio, the blog, and the contact. Now, what I would like to see here is the ability for me to go into the about page, because right now it looks like this is just a preview and I can't go into the other pages. Now, let me take a look and see how the responsive views look like. Now, this is also very, very important for designing modern websites. So here I can click on this and I can see that it's responsive and everything stays intact. I think this is really, really good. Look at that. So out of the box, all these layouts are responsive. Now, if I want to go back to other designs, it takes me back and I can start choosing a totally different layout. Now, if you're a design agency and you're sitting down with your client, this could be your starting point where your client can actually choose the layout they prefer. And this time, let's say I want to go with this one. I can just go ahead and click on it. And for this, I'm going to change the colors to that. And then I'm going to click on continue. Now, let's see what happens with the next step. 
So now it's asking us some of these features. So are we going to take donations? Maybe not. But because I'm a design agency and maybe the website I'm designing is going to require sales funnels, I can go ahead and choose that. And this is going to pre-install a sales funnel plugin for me. And this is going to be cut flows. Over here, I have a free live chat. This is something that you may want to add if the client needs it. So again, you can just choose this as you need. Okay, so let me go ahead and click on start building. Now, before I do that, again, I would like to see more features here because there are different types of uh, websites that you can build I mean, from this stage. So seeing more features here would be a very, very good idea. Now, we also have automation and integrations. I can always choose that as well if I need to do that. But I'm going to keep things very simple here. I'm going to now go ahead and click on Start Building. So now it's saying I'm almost there. I'm now going to click on Start Building the Website. I'm going to sit back and see what happens. Now, what has happened right here is very, very exciting. You can spin off a website in a very, very short time. Now, this is done you know, within an hour. Now imagine this, designing a website which will give you an idea of the content that needs to go on the pages. And just like that, you have a very good starting point. Look at that. <laughs> we are pretty much ready to go and customize our website. So now I'm gonna click on customize website. And here we are in our WordPress admin dashboard. So what I'm going to do now is take a quick look and see what this looks like. So I'm going to click on view website. And here we go. So remember, I mentioned that it also builds your about page, your features page and your blog page. Now look at that. It also has the copy. Mac Design Agency specializes in web design, focusing on e-commerce lead generation sites to boost your business. Look at that. Pretty cool. So all you have to do now is to go in and make some adjustments over here. You would add your own team members and update their names. We also have the features here. So here we are. We have our key features for our services, e-commerce integration. So you're probably wondering what this website is built using. So it's built using Spectra. Now, this is a page builder like um, interface for designing websites using Gutenberg. Now, let me show you what this would look like. So if I come over here to pages and click on all pages, this is going to show me all the pages. Now, if I want you to go in and make any edits to any of these pages, all I have to do is to click on edit. And here we are. If I wanted to change anything here, I can just go in and make some changes like that. Very, very easy to use. So you just click and make your changes. Now, as I mentioned, this uses Spectra. This is a page builder like interface for Gutenberg. It's absolutely free, which means if you want to get started with uh, designing websites for your clients, you can start off with something like Spectra and Astra. And these are two free uh, uh, softwares, by the way. But if you want extra features, of course, you would upgrade and go for the uh, upgraded features. But as a basic website, you can see right here that pretty much everything is there for us. We can design these websites and start charging all our clients. So let's say you wanted to make some changes to this. You just click on it, just like any page builder. You come over here to style and you can go in and change your colors. Now, ZipWP also has another way of building websites, which is even more powerful. Now, this is custom site with AI. If I click on this, now this is on the alpha stage, by the way, so don't go ahead and start using this to design your websites. But again, it has a similar way of designing our websites using AI. So I can come over here and give this a name. So I've entered my description here. I'm going to say improve with AI, just like how we did it before. Next, I'm going to click on Generate Sitemap. So what this is doing now is giving us a bird's eye view of what our website is going to look like. And this, again, is very, very powerful as well. This now gives us an idea of what our page looks like. So we have our services list, portfolio, why choose us, and so on. So these are the sections that we have on our home page. I can go in here and make any changes if I need to by just by clicking on it. But if I scroll further down here, notice what happens. It's now telling us all our pages. Now I know right now I can't see everything, so I'm going to uh, reduce this a little bit so we can see everything. So now we have an idea of how many pages we have on our website. So we have the about us here services portfolio testimonials and so on so this way of building a website is even more powerful than just using the ai now check this out if i go in and uh, let's say zoom in 
I can drag this. Now we're on the about us here. I can click on add section. Now notice what happens over here on the right. So I can say maybe I want this to be a why choose us. So I'm gonna click here on this plus button. So now we have discover why Mac Design Agency is the perfect blah, 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 blah. It's looking good. I can now click on this plus button again and add another list. So I can say maybe this time it's the features. There we go. So now I have my features. So these are the sections that I'm adding on my site. Now check this out. Now this is super powerful and this is amazing. If I now go to wireframe, notice what happens. It's now giving me a breakdown of what the page actually looks like. Now all I've done here was add my why choose us and I also have this uh, section here as well. Now you're going to notice that it's giving us a pretty much a wireframe. There's no images here, but it's giving me an idea of what the page is going to look like. And this is super powerful. Now, what else can we do here? I can click in here and choose some layout uh, over here. So you can see if I wanted a, a dark background, I can just go with that. And this now gives me a dark background. But what if I want a different design? Well, I can choose the different design from here. I can choose maybe this layout. And this is something that you can start developing as you sit down with your client. I really, really love this and this is super powerful. It's gonna save you a lot of time because once you start adding images and uh, going into much more detail in terms of designing it, if there's going to be a change that's needed, you're still going to go back and redo it. But from this here, this is super powerful. I can just go in here and choose all my sections, how I want it designed and so on. If I wanted to add a new section, I can just click on this plus button, name the section that I need and add it. So this sitemap and wireframe is what real design agencies would use as they're designing their websites for their clients. And this is within ZipWP, super powerful. So once you're happy with this, you can export it and then start designing the complete website. So back over here on my dashboard, this is the list of all the websites and uh, the two that we've just been working on are now added onto the list. And now they are all accessible to my uh, team members and I can also log in here anytime. If you wanted to create a blueprint from this, you can just come over here, create your blueprint and you are good to go. Okay, so let's talk about the pricing. So the pricing here may seem a bit expensive when you look at it, but if you're a design agency or a freelance designer, all these features that I've just mentioned here are worth way more than the 399 per year. In fact, that 399 could be as a result of designing just one website. And I would even say designing a website for 399 is on the cheaper side. I mean, at least you're supposed to be charging about you know, a thousand dollars for a basic website. So all the features here are pretty much worth it. I mean, the AI, we're talking about the blueprint, we're talking about the wireframe, and also the fact that you are using a tool which does not require you to first set up a hosting account and so on and so forth. So this I highly, highly recommend for small business owners and design agencies. Anyway, guys, let me know what you think in the comments box below. And if you're interested in ZipWP, I have a link in the video description below. Go ahead and check it out. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.